Shalom, ya Sharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Archeum out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity and shalom to the few Akwath that are listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled um, <clears throat> Work Out Your Own Salvation, you know, and um, pretty much the inspiration of this lesson comes from um you know you may not you may or may not be aware but um you know one of the brothers has been kicked out of the camp you know um pretty much for not following orders you know that as far as we know but with that being said you know it's not for us to worry about the fate of that particular brother and you know worry about their situation because at the end of the day you know the only person that can save us is Yahweh Shai you know the elders and apostles the brotherhood they can't save us from this destruction all, all they can do is is you know Ezekiel 3 and 17 as it says give them warning from me that's all we can pretty much do for a brother man we can just give them warning from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai but as for what can we save a brother we, we can't you know, the Lord will have mercy on who he will have mercy on and he'll judge who he judges. So, you know, that's not for us to make the decision on who gets beamed up and who doesn't. Because we, we don't even know if we're going to get beamed up, man. We're, that's why we say we are the hopeful elect, you know. Lord willing, the Heavenly Father puts his spirit on us to endure until the very end so that we can be a part of the elect, okay? But, you know, because I know what Israel gets like then you know Israel starts to focus on the wrong things you know start focusing more on the brother or is there any chance he could be brought back into the fold hey listen man if, if it be the, the will of the heavenly father that that particular brother he be brought back into the fold and so be it and if it be in the will of the heavenly father for him to stay away from GMS to stay out of the camp then so be it what you need to worry about is yourself. Work out your own salvation, man. So don't worry about the next brother. All right, work out your own salvation, man. Are you are you doing the things that's pleasing to the Lord to ensure that you will be saved, to ensure that you will stay amongst the brotherhood? You know, what, what are you doing? You know, forget about what a brother is doing. Because as I said before, we, we can't save a brother, man. You know, we can't save a brother. It's only through the, 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 the mercies of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai we will be saved, man. But that's not up to us to call the shots on who, who gets to make it and who doesn't. You know? Just just let the will of the Heavenly Father play out, man. Alright? And focus on yourself. This is Matthew chapter 7. And we'll start at verse 3. And it reads... Uh, Yahweh Shai speaking And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye But considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye Yeah, so in other words Why why do you care so much about what what's going on with another brother With what another brother is doing What another brother is doing wrong And so on and so forth Rather than worrying about what the hell you're doing What about you? What are you doing, man? You know, stop, stop stop worrying about the other brother. What are you doing? Are you doing the things that's pleasing unto the Lord? You know, are, are the things that you're doing um, going to ensure that you will be delivered when that time of judgment comes? Okay, is the Lord happy with your work? All right, so so stop worrying about what what a brother did or what's going to happen to a brother, man. Worry about yourself. Okay, verse 4 Or how will thou say to thy brother Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye And behold, a beam is in thine own eye Yeah, so how the hell are you going to correct a brother On X, Y and Z 
but you ain't even got X, Y, and Z sorted up, man. That that will make you a hypocrite. Okay? So once again, just worry about yourself, man. Okay? You you make sure that um oh, and I don't, oh, the scripture that goes for it, but I can't remember where it is right now. You know, you make sure that 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 you examine yourself so that so that other men don't have to examine you and get onto you, man. So you 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 should be constantly examining yourself, man. In order for, for, for situations like this to be avoided Where now you have to be called out You know So always make sure um, um, You know You're very you, you do your introspecting You're very self aware With whatever the hell is going on with you Make sure you know Question yourself Am I in the faith? Are the things that I'm doing uh, Equate to me being in the faith? Okay I don't worry. Don't 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 worry about what another brother's doing, man. You know, focus on you. Cause the same way that other brother can't save you, you can't save that other brother, man. It's only through the the, the grace and mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse five. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye. All right. So make sure you're straight. Before you, you you be criticizing or, or or getting onto another brother about what they're doing and what they're not doing, man. All right, thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shall thou see clearly to cast out uh, the mote out of thy brother's eye. Yeah, so make sure you got your shit together before you start talking about how another brother is, man. All right. Let's go to Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter one. I want to start. At, oh, where's this guy going? This is Second Peter one and uh, verse ten, and it reads, "Wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence." To make your calling and election sure For if ye do these things Ye shall never fail Alright so We're meant to be diligent in this thing man You know we're not meant to be slothful servants We're, all, we're meant to be constantly Abounding in the work of the Lord Alright Why? To, to make our calling and election sure Because once again you know We need to be working out our own salvation man And I'm going to bring that scripture out You know so really and truly we ain't got time to be worrying about another brother I mean of course we look out for our brothers But ultimately Look the, the, the greatest battle you're going to fight is against yourself man You know so you need to make sure first and foremost you're in order You're in line You're in check Alright Because your, your greatest battle is within yourself man You know you have demons plaguing your mind and and uh, things of that nature, man. You gotta make sure that 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 you know you're um you have the upper hand in that battle, man. Before you can start worrying about what a brother is or isn't doing, okay. And and, and you know we're meant to, uh, as I said, we're meant to be constantly abounding in the work of the Lord, man. You know we don't want to be slothful servants. You know we we have the most important job. There is out in the world We are prophets of the Lord man We are literally giving uh, uh, the people warning From the judgment that's coming on this earth man You know it is our job to warn our people In hopes that, that, that they will repent and, and turn from their wicked ways And seek the heavenly father Whilst he may be found man Because otherwise they're going to be destroyed So we're, we're doing a very important work man So that's why we have to give diligence you know, we're constantly studying, constantly doing these lessons, you know, going out to the highways and the byways. You know, we have to give diligence to make our calling and election sure, man. So let's read that one more time. Second Peter 1 and 10. Um, uh, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Why? For if ye do these things... Ye shall never fail Alright You give diligence to make your calling and election sure You will never fail man Alright 
the Heavenly Father is going to be constantly pleased with your works. You see? And you know, we need to understand that ultimately we fell away from the truth. You know, we fell out the truth. So we pretty much need to go harder now. Now that, now that we've been returned onto it, you know, we found a way again. We pretty much need to go harder, man. All right. So this is um my next precept in the Apocrypha. This is Baruch chapter four. And we'll start at verse 28 today. And it reads, for as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. Yeah. So because we fell out the truth, you know, we, we uh, started walking our own paths, trying to pave our own way. Okay. We need to seek the Lord 10 times more. All right. So we ain't got really and truly, we ain't got time to be to be checking on another brother, to, you know, to see. Oh, oh yeah, you're going off on this. I mean, it's the same way the elders don't really have time to be. Look, man, how how many camps are there in GMS, man? You know, how many how many teaching this word? You know, the the the, the elder apostles ain't got time to to be. Uh, you know. Checking every brother Making sure every brother's doing the same thing That's why you have You know You got your camp leaders And and ultimately That's why we have order man So that these things uh, Can be uh, um, um, You know Assessed by, by like your uh, Your camp leader man You know Not necessarily Elder Apostle Taha Elder Apostle Kabar And so on and so forth man Alright But we need to be seeking the Lord Ten times more man You know Giving diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know, we need to show the Lord that we want to get the hell up out of here, man. We're tired of being in wicked um, um, uh, uh, Babylon the Great. And, you know, its influence being spread throughout the four corners of the earth. We know Babylon the Great symbolizes America. But, you know, America's influence is spread throughout the earth. Okay. Verse 29, Baruch 4 and 29. For he that have brought these plagues upon you... All right, we're plagued now, okay? Shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. All right, so that's what the Lord is going to bring us, man. He's going to bring us everlasting joy with our salvation. Lord willing, we endure until the very end, right? You know, we're going to be joyful on that day if we be a part of the Lord's elect. That's why we need to give diligence to make our calling and election sure, man. And let's close out here on uh this is Philippians uh this is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12 and it reads wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation not that brother's salvation not your mum's salvation your 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 your, your wife's salvation no work out your own salvation not your children's salvation work out your own salvation with fear and trembling man because really and truly none of us know if we're of the elect you know so so pretty much we we just need to be um focusing on our on ourselves man you know making sure that we're doing uh, um, the things that please the Lord To the best of our ability man Okay Because the, the, Look man the elders and apostles They can't save us man They can only advise us To do what's right But as in uh, You know Can they Save us directly No man that's down to us Ultimately That's down to Yahweh Bashem Shai And their grace and mercy man all right, so work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Stop worrying about another brother, man. Worry about yourself, man, and make sure you're doing the things that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father. All right, with that being said, uh, I've pretty much made the point. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.